Here we have the Shelly Button 1 internal rechargeable battery. Uh, I fully charged it a week ago, at which point the voltage of the battery was showing 4.12 volts. It's now showing 4.1 volts, so that seems pretty good. So it's a standard micro USB uh, charge. Little get lanyard hole there. The back just clicks off uh, if you need to for any reason. However, there it is set up. I'm using the Node Red Contrib Shelly node to control this. Nothing more. So if I press the button once, you'll see there's the action. Now that would turn my lights on. You're going to see this in a second when I long press, or I can long press or double press. So if I double press, you'll see my lights go off. Press. It's that simple to use. It's actually quite, it's, it, it seems quite a useful device altogether. They're not cheap. I believe, including tax in the EU, they're maybe 27 euros, so not cheap at all. However, they seem to do the job well constructed. And there it is. I have no idea what those holes are for. It doesn't measure temperature. What you can get out of the thing is the signal strength, the battery voltage, and the state of uh, your last press. So S for a single press, uh, SS for a double press, SSS for a triple press, and L for a long press. That at least is on the Node Red um, Contrib Node. The output's probably slightly different if you're just using um, other software, but that's what I got. And I have to say, it works a treat. You do get a sticky pad with it, um, which, as you can imagine, doesn't last long if you're pulling it off the wall every now and then. Good job the back comes away easily. Uh, and you can do that with a finger. You don't have to use a tool to take the back off. So, for example, if I was to click that, watch carefully. There it is. Internal 3.7 volt battery. And as you can see, there's a connector there. So you can replace the battery if you ever need to. But I should imagine this is going to last quite some time. Anyway, there it is. Shelly button one.